BIPOC housing in southern Arizona as the number of those experiencing homelessness continues to climb in our area. Pima County leaders say evictions and higher rent costs add to that number. There's a program that aims to prevent people from even getting to that point, and the program was recently given an award for its work. Nine on your side, Tina Giuliano spoke with how with one Tucsonan about how this helped her find a new home. I never thought that I would be on the street, you know, but I was. That's what I thought we were going to have to do. <laughs> Come here. Shirley Rasmus's rent went up, but her social security payments didn't. And she couldn't make ends meet. I get 841 SSI and my rent went from 744 to 960. The threat of eviction loomed overhead. I can't get that out of 841, so that's why I got evicted. So her neighbor told her about Pima County's emergency eviction legal services program. The next thing I know, they were calling me. And it just went from like that. It was like a miracle. I was so scared because of my cats. And if it wasn't for them, we would be homeless because today was the last day. Yeah. The team helps people facing eviction in court. In 2020, only 79 people were fully represented. And this year, over 200 people were fully represented. Historically, the eviction playing field has been unlevel. Um, with most landlords represented and most tenants unrepresented. Thanks to the COVID relief money, the team is able to provide other services. Rent utility assistance, homeless services, workforce development services, youth development services, and we can try to, for each person who comes in, approach them holistically. And they told me that even if they didn't get me into an apartment, um, they had a motel they would set me up with for me and the cat. And now Rasmus has the keys to her new apartment. Don't give up. You know, get a hold of the city. That's what I did. They'll work for you. You know, just don't give up. Tina Giuliano, KGUN 9, on your side.